In today's devlog, I'm gonna talk about our future plans for Billy's Nightmare, now that the demo has finally been released. But more about that later. First, I just wanna make it clear that, as of making this video, the demo hasn't been released yet. So, I don't know yet if the release was a success or a failure. Hopefully, everything went well. A couple of devlogs ago, I told you that we had so much left to do, that online co-op would have to wait for a later update. But we got so many comments from you, saying that you really wanted online co-op in the demo. So we worked really hard adding code and fixing bugs to make it possible to include online co-op in the demo. So if you have played online co-op, I hope you didn't encounter any game-breaking bugs. Besides finishing online co-op in time for the demo, we have also managed to finish three outfits that were supposed to be released in a later update. The pirate, the princess and the astronaut. All these outfits were missing a secondary attack, which we have now added. For the pirate, we first wanted to make his secondary attack some kind of shrapnel shot, where he would shoot a lot of tiny projectiles like a shotgun. But, since his primary attack already is a powerful short-range projectile, it felt weird to give him another shotgun-like attack. So, we decided to give him an attack with longer range. Since he is a pirate who lives on the sea, it felt like a good idea to give him a harpoon. The harpoon is thrown like a spear and damages all enemies it comes in contact with. And to make the harpoon more interesting, we made it so enemies get impaled by the harpoon and flies away with it. So now, the harpoon can both be used to damage enemies far away, or to get rid of enemies who are getting too close to you. For the princess, we were first going to do something similar to her primary attack, where she shoots music notes. Our plan was that she were going to shoot more powerful notes, or something. But it felt too similar to her primary attack, so we knew that we had to do something else. We then thought that she could use her harp as a bow instead, and shoot a volley of arrows. But to make it feel even more powerful, we took inspiration from our last game, Heroes of Highwall. In that game, the archer can shoot cluster arrows, which explode on the ground. So, I reused some code, and after a while, the princess could shoot cluster arrows from her harp. We think this attack is really fun to use, and it's also great to get a break from listening to the music notes over and over again. For the astronaut, we were first going to give him a small flamethrower attached to his wrist. But the attack felt too similar to the chili breath ability, where you breathe fire from your mouth. So, instead of shooting a flamethrower from the wrist, we went with wrist rockets instead. It feels really good that we quickly came up with all these new attacks, so that we could include these outfits in the demo as well. And speaking of outfits, we have also made a small update to the chest in Billy's bedroom. You know, the place where you change your outfit. While playing online co-op together and looking for bugs, Fabian and I always spend a lot of time trying to decide which outfit and color to play with. We joked and said that we should add a random button that could choose an outfit for us instead. But we felt that this joke actually turned out to be a pretty good idea. So, we added a button to the menu which randomly selects an outfit and color for you. It's a great solution if you don't know what kind of a character you want to play with. And it's also fun to get combinations that you maybe normally wouldn't choose. So, what are our plans for Billy's Nightmare now that the demo has been released? Well, let's talk about what's left to do before the full game is finished. We have always wanted to include three different levels in the game. So now, with the school level finished, we have to make two more levels. We also have to make the final boss fight for the game, where you will defeat the main villain. It will probably be a bit more advanced than the normal boss fights, and therefore take a bit longer time to make. But all the basic stuff for the game is pretty much finished now. We have a working menu, a tutorial that teaches you how to play, controller support, 
local and online co-op and so on. So, adding two more levels and the last boss fight shouldn't take too long, in theory at least. And we probably have to spend some time fixing more bugs that people will find when playing the demo. Speaking of which, did you play the demo and what did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.